Hi, I'm Linda. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia and I am just going to show you today really quickly how to use our new envelope punch board. So this is the new envelope punch board that Stampin' Up! has released on the 29th of October 2013. Um, it's a great little tool. You can make actually quite a lot of things with it, not just envelopes but boxes too. At the craft show, the Penrith craft show that I've just been involved in doing over the past weekend, we were able to show lots of customers how to make a box with it. And, and I can do that for you maybe another time, but I thought just today we'll start with a basic envelope so you can see how how easy it is to use. So the envelope punch board comes with the scoring tool stowed away underneath here in this little hidey hole. Um, we've got our punch up the top here which on this side does your scoring and your punching for your envelopes and on the outside is a great little corner rounder and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, down here it's got the instructions on how to make a basic envelope and then there's all these different size measurements to allow you to create 66 different sizes of envelopes. So that should meet most of your envelope needs I would be thinking. Um, but today I'm just going to make a fairly standard envelope, one that you would fit a normal, um, like a C6, that you would fit a normal size card in. Um, and the way the envelope punch board works, it tells you based on your card size, so you start with your card, what you need to cut your paper size to be at the beginning, and then where we're going, what measurement we're going to use to score the envelope. So I'm going to start today with a basic size envelope for standard size cards. So that's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch envelope. Now we also do have, when you get the envelope punch board, there is also an additional sticker in here that you can put over the top that has metric sizing. But as most of us are either scrapbookers or card makers from way back, very familiar with inches and um, very familiar with American imperial measurements, um, I think most people probably will prefer to stick with what's already on the punch board, but you can use the metric um, sticker if you prefer. Okay, so I'm starting here. It tells me with my four and a quarter by five and a half inch envelope that I'm going to need an eight by eight inch paper. So I've already cut some in, um, of our, this is our Epic Day, this and that Epic Day um, DSP or designer series paper and it's um, obviously quite beautiful paint printed on both sides like all the papers are um, and I'm going to do what it says here which says the score line needs to be measured for this piece at three and a half inches so what I do is I pop this in and the only measurement I need is along here okay so you'll see that along the top here we've got our inches um, and it says three and a half inches so I'm going to put the edge of the of the paper at the three and a half inch mark that's the only measurement I'm going to need I'm going to pop that in so that the paper is right at the top and I'm going to punch, okay, then I'm going to get my little scoring tool and I'm going to um, score it straight down and it's following this score line that's underneath here, okay, and it fits in the groove and comes straight down for you. You take it out and turn it 90 degrees, okay, put it back in at three and a half, oh sorry, no, that's the only measurement. Remember I just said to you I only need that measurement. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a score line that we've just used and we're going to put that in where it says score guide. There's a little sticky outy bit here and you put your scoring mark that you've just made, your score, on that little sticky outy bit, okay, the score guide. And this time we're going to punch and we're going to score again, okay. I find if I punch first I don't forget to punch because I keep forgetting. Alright, then you're going to turn it and you're going to measure that score guide again right on the score line there, punch and score. Do the same again, so you're doing this on each side, okay, punch and score. Okay, so I've now done all four sides. I've got four notches, one on each side, and I've got all my score lines, okay. And it's really easy to see how that would work. It doesn't matter which way you... Um, you just turn it whichever way you want to have on the outside obviously you're going to um, fold to the other side okay now these two flaps are smaller than these two so these are my side pieces this is going to be my middle piece and here's my top flap okay you can see it's made an envelope pretty much straight away but it is nicer if you round off the corners of your top flap and your bottom that's how I like to do it so I'm going to round off that top corner and I'm going to round off that bottom corner okay lovely and then I'm going to use a bit of snail because snail works really well with pattern paper if you haven't got snail get yourself some it's the best stuff okay 
and then you're going to pop this up here give it a bit of a push down you should always do that when you're using snail and your envelopes ready to go so if you were making an envelope uh, sorry making a card and you would use this pattern paper it's really lovely to be able to use the same pattern paper for your envelope if you're wanting to do it for the post you could just use normal printer paper out of your copier um, or your printer and um, and then make a smaller size envelope in your pattern paper and then that becomes your envelope liner okay and then you can still write on your white envelope and send it through the post really simple little thing to show you today the envelope punch board is a really great little thing that we have now it's only just been released and you can buy one for $31.95 you can only use do it through my online store uh, or you can visit my blog www.lhiggins blogspot.com and you can go there and um, and see how you can either shop online from the blog or you can also um, send me an email and the email details are there as well so I hope that's been a nice little quick tutorial for you today enjoy your envelope punch board and have fun finding out all the things you can do with it if you would like me to make a box another time please comment and let me know and I will do that for you next time thank you bye